you. Hey y'all, it's product shoot day and content making day. So if you're a content maker, you know you like you gotta pre-record most of your stuff so you can stay consistent. And I'm trying to post every day starting next week. So I need all the content I can get. I'm gonna be trying to film like TikTok content, reels, uh taking Instagram posts and behind the scenes stuff. Just a lot today. I'm gonna start trying to set up the little backdrop and so I can just start taking pictures. But the thing is I don't have a, a backdrop stand. So I'm going to be using a clothing rack. Hopefully it works. clothing rack and then on my trunk it's stable but so far it looks good and it did not take long to set up i just gotta fix that little wrinkle right there too and i'm gonna like steam it out because it's a little wrinkly it's like the perfect size and if it's not like if it's too short right here i'm just gonna add this one on the floor okay i'm finally done setting up here's the setup clothing right for my clothes you know backdrop ring light and then another little light and right now i'm just going to take product pictures and then i'm going to start on my tiktoks and reels and i'm going to be taking pictures on this camera so i'm going to be recording my iphone so excuse that i'm back and i'm finna change the setup for my tiktoks and reels <laughs> because the other hair it just wasn't giving so now i gotta start over i only filmed one tiktok but now i gotta start that one over Okay, so I'm done. It's been going good so far. I already got like five to seven done, which is five to seven days. And I'm trying to get at least 10 to 14 days done by today so I can have two weeks in advance. All I do is edit and post each day starting next week. And now I'm gonna do two second TikToks, talking TikToks, where I can just say something and then show something I already recorded. So wish me luck.
Okay, so I took my product pictures and then I went to go edit them yesterday and the pictures are ugly. They're, it's not like I look ugly. It, they look very low quality and rushed. And I could tell I was rushing because I was just getting so tired and frustrated with the camera and the iPad and all that. So I changed up the set and I'm going to take pictures off my phone instead of my camera. Basically, this is the setup, the new setup. I tried to make it wider so I can have more room and stuff to move around. And then I switched up the layout and the design I want to do. At first, I was just going to do like close-up pictures without the face and without anything. But now I'm going to do it different. I'm going to do like ghost pictures and then like full body kind of style pictures. I think that will look better. Today is Sunday and I want to have my website done by Tuesday. And tomorrow is going to be the first time I start posting, period. So I am, I would say Russian, but I'm going to do this right this time. And another thing was the clothes I was wearing, obviously they look good, period. But they were wrinkled, had lint on it, and I didn't even notice. So this time I have a mirror. I have everything set up so I can take these pictures and be good. I'm not even going to lie. I really didn't want to take these pictures again. I was just going to work with what I got, but it just went the vibe of how I want my website to look. So I'd rather just do it again to have better quality than step out with a good Instagram, good TikTok, and then you go on the website and it look like homemade type junk. So I don't want it to look homemade, so I'm going to do it over. I'm not going to show y'all the process because y'all already saw the process the first time. Okay, so I'm finally done. The pictures came out way better than a couple of days ago um i really planned out these outfits this time and i really and i really made sure everything was on point no lint no wrinkles fitted on me correctly the lighting was correct the lighting was on each piece so i kept having to move the lighting the camera was set up in the perfect spot i literally made sure everything was good this time and i looked at each picture as i took it to make sure i was doing the right thing the pictures turned out good but hopefully i can edit them to get a good vibe i just wanted to, it to be clean and the layout i guess i'm doing it's like a picture of its style and then shop the pieces and that's in the picture basically now i want the thumbnail to be like the ghosted garment and if you don't know what i'm talking about go on alexander mcqueen and look at they spring season that's how i kind of want it to be y'all will see if i accomplish this because obviously i am not a uh professional editor i am not a professional photographer so we're gonna see if i actually get the ghost effect i want to show y'all like the end of everything so this is how it looks very much messy this is how it looks after almost every day and at the every day i try to clean up because that's just too much but i wanted to show y'all the rest of the living room like I had to do a lot of moving to make this little situation work. I'm going to come back and show y'all like the, the final product pictures of how they look on my website, edited and all that. So, yeah. Okay, so yesterday I finished um, like editing the product pictures. And all I had to do was add them to my website and remove the background. So, let me show y'all what it like now. They so far, I still got to edit these ghost pictures a little bit. But, fire 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 like i really did that this is the pictures before not giving at all and then it had this freaking date right here like why would why are you adding that to a picture come on now but yeah this is it they don't look actually don't look that bad they just don't look good but here is the new ones and then here is the edited much 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 better